Hi everyone, I'm Lady Simwolf. If you're new to the channel, glad you found us. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I want to go over the Sims Legacy Hub with everybody. So if you ever use the Plum Tree app, you kind of get an idea of how this works. It is a place to make and save and share your family trees for your Sims. So once you log in to the Sims Legacy Hub after you've created your account and everything, right now I only have a free account. I haven't gotten a chance to subscribe yet i plan on doing that hopefully in the near future maybe i'm gonna show everybody how to make a family tree in a minute but right now i just want to show you pretty much what it looks like so you'll start a tree but i'm gonna go ahead and edit this one now this is a family that i've been playing off camera if you click on them i have actually put in a little bit of backstory of them randy dawson's the founder of the legacy challenge i started with her she started out with just a little trailer out in oasis spring she met jeffrey you know they went out to the bar she didn't realize who he was because she's new to the area they had a little bit of a fling and that produced patricia going back to randy she ended up marrying derek and here's all their children and you know who they're with and everything and their children the cool thing about this one is right here you can actually change the relationships between them and there are so many choices but enough showing this one off let me show you how to make your own now i only have a free account at the moment like i said so i'm actually just gonna start this one just to show you guys i don't know if it'll save or not i know it said that if i clear the clear my cash then it's gonna lose it and i cannot share this one but let's go ahead and start one for our not so berry tree so this is what it like, looks like when you start it. And we're gonna start out. I had started to make one, but then I decided to save it to show everybody on camera how to do it. So let's start with Raylan and you can pick the pronouns. So to add a picture, you just click right here. So I'm just gonna use this picture. I have a Raylan. You can use your mouse wheel to make the picture as big as you want it or as small as you want it. So we're just gonna go right about there. Click on it again to set it. And there we go, there's Raylan's profile picture. For the details, I already had it all typed out already for the sake of time, so I'm just gonna add it in here. I put in a quick recap of how she moved to Oasis Springs to you know, start her new life. She met Johnny, they got married real quick for the inheritance. Right after that, she found out she was pregnant with the twins. Everything went great until she had the twins and Johnny decided he wasn't in the mood to be a dad, I guess. And then I also added in her, and I also added in her traits. There's not an official place to put in the traits, but I just went ahead and put that in there just because I wanted to. And then for life state, she is a young adult and she's not an alien or anything like that. And if you click deceased, it'll actually, you can put in the cause of death and it'll turn gray around their picture, but we're not gonna do that because obviously Raylan's still here. And see, when you put all that in, you'll have this pop up when you click on their picture with everything you put in there. So let's add a new sim. Let's go with Jasper Zestberry. See, even with a picture of two of them, we can just zoom right in on him. And then for his details, he's a child and he's not deceased. Okay. It, you, it, sometimes it puts the new one right on top of the old one. So we will do that. Drag his picture off of Raylan's. And then we want to add a child named Jasper Zestberry. When you click on him, it will show his the relationship as child of Raylan Berry and that she had a child named Jasper Zestberry. So let's go ahead and put Rory in and we'll move him or we'll put him over here. Okay, now here's where it gets really fun. We're gonna do Johnny. I actually forgot to write out the details for Johnny. So I'll put those in later. He's an adult. I think him and Raylan are both young adults. I'll change it later if that's wrong. And then we can take Johnny, put him over here. divorced Raylan Berry. So it shows them as divorced. 
and we can even go on since they are I'm, I'm gonna add the land crabs in just because they are related to the twins i've already wrote out backstories for them you can even put disowned that is awesome so you know what that's what we're gonna do with johnny she because she really did she disowned johnny there we go okay so you can do that too you can mark them as their child and you can also mark them as disowned by that parent that's awesome to know and then we need one more all right and that's pretty much everything there is to it i mean you can have all kinds of different choices on what kind of relationship you can do abducted adopted a child built a robot had a child so you could add your servos in here had a child made a clone named disowned divorced is dating is engaged to broke up with had a fling with i'm excited about this this is a little bit more in depth and this is really really neat and i love the customization of it i'll leave a link to the website down below so everybody can check it out i hope you enjoyed this episode sorry if it wasn't great i'm not great at explaining things if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel until the next episode happy simming everyone